So, Fred, where'd you go to law school? Went to Stanford. It's a great, great time. Oh, wow. Huh. I'm impressed. It's a fantastic school. Hey, hey, hey. Best in Connecticut. In Stanford, not Stanford. Oh, oh. Well, what about y Yale? Yale's in Connecticut. Yeah, six of one, half dozen the other. They're both terrific. Say hello to the world's cutest dachshund. This is Mr. Bojangles. Uh, actually, actually, we're attorneys. Oh, so perhaps a Doberman instead. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, hmm. I love the lawyer jokes. You know, my favorite is the one. How did the... Yeah, well, I'm blanking. But it's something about a shark and professional courtesy or... Something that's good. okay, uh, Mr. Mandel. Uh, I represent Dr. And Mrs. Burton. You sold them a dog recently. Uh, now the Burtons are seeking compensatory damages in the amount of eight hundred fifty dollars because you misrepresented the dog you sold them. Now, hey, Mr. What, Mandel, what? you represented a quality of dog that turned out not to be the quality of dogs that you sold the Burtons. So they'd like eight hundred and fifty dollars back to compensate for that misrepresentation. Uh, I don't know what all this Broadway ballyhoo is about, but if the Burtons are really unhappy, bring back Butch and I'll give them back their money. Great, wrap it up and we'll take it. I actually. My clients would prefer to keep the dog and get the refund. Wrap it up and we'll take it to the garbage and throw it out. Mm. Our clients want to keep the dog and get a refund. Sorry, no doggy can do. Wh why not? Because once you let one doggy lick himself, then they'll all start doing it. You know something? That is so true. We had this little Pomeranian named Gus, and I'm telling you, that little guy used to go to town down there anytime people... Fred! Sorry. It's not a story from its company. I won't give them the money and the dog. Fine. Then I guess we'll speak again soon. So! Anybody up for lunch at Bennigan's?